Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Marsh, Director of the Cognitive Development and Neuroimaging Lab at Columbia University Medical Center and the New York State Psychiatric Institute. In my lab, we invite children and their families to take part in research studies to help us learn about the brain and brain development. We answer any questions that the children or their families have about research participation. When children come into our lab, we also like to teach them a little bit about the brain. One way to learn about brains and how they work is by taking pictures using MRI which stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Children enjoy research participation because it allows them to learn about the brain. Parents like it too. MRI is a giant camera that takes pictures of the brain. The MRI machine is shaped like a donut with a round hole in the middle, just like a tunnel. Before children go into the real MRI scanner, they practice in a mock scanner so that they can get comfortable with staying still and with the noises the scanner makes. When we're ready to take pictures of a child's brain, we will ask him or her to lie on a padded table that moves into the MRI scanner. The pictures we take in the MRI are just like the pictures you take with a real camera. You have to stay really still so the pictures don't get blurry. Oftentimes, we tell kids to pretend that Elsa froze them or to play the freeze game. When children go into the MRI scanner, they can lay still and watch a movie for part of the time. This is so that we can take structural pictures of their brains to really understand about brain structure. Other times they play tasks in the scanner, simple tasks, similar to what they play on a tablet, but a little less complex. During this portion of the scan, we can figure out what parts of the brain kids are using, what parts they're activating when they're doing certain cognitive tasks. That's called functional MRI. We play some more games with kids outside the scanner too. Some are like video games and others are more like puzzles. Usually we do this before they go into the scanner so that they can practice the games that we want them to play. After a child's visit, our lab spends lots and lots of time putting together the images that we get of children's brains and looking at them so that we can read them and really understand more about brain function and brain development. When children take part in research, they help us learn a lot about how brains work, and they learn something too. Research participation is really a great thing for children to do because it gives them an opportunity to volunteer and to understand that they're helping children with problems that we're trying to fix. It also gives them a great opportunity to learn about science outside the classroom.